Hello everyone, John Frosto with Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm gonna show you three magic moves on how to swivel on your forehand. Enjoy the video. All right, before I get started, I gotta give credit to Chuck Tomlin and John Carpenter from Congruent Tennis. I heard this term from Chuck as far as the swivel on the forehand and how to get this leg on the forehand. Every pro is doing it. Some do it different than others. I'm gonna show you the palm down method on how to do this, but what you're gonna find is you're gonna get more power, more control, more consistency by implementing this. Now, let's not be misled here. It takes reps. You gotta have good timing. You gotta put the time in in order to do this successfully, but I feel that the more you practice it, if you can see it here in video, we'll show you some slow motion footage of some of the pros and what they're doing, and I feel it can really help you a lot. So let's get started. Here's a fun little drill on just trying to show you how to start swiveling here. And what I mean by the swivel is, got the Top Spin Pro here, but what I mean by the swivel is, what we've talked about as far as tracking the ball and being able to find that ball out in front, but if you watch Federer, Rublev, a lot of the, the top pros, what they're doing is as they take this racket back, this as the hand goes forward, this racket will lag back and that's where we get that power. It's that whipping effect. Let me show you one little drill that I came up with that I really love and I feel that it can be a great foundation in order to learn how to swivel. Basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna put a ball in the throat of the racket and what I want you to get a feel of is as we track, and we take this racket back, keeping that ball in the throat and keeping that stability, you don't want a lot of moving parts when we do this. So if we can really simplify it and track as that ball comes in, notice how I'm palm down. That's a signature position here with a lot of the pros. Semi-Western grip. And what I mean by that with the semi-Western is the base knuckle on my index finger is on bevel four. So that's that bevel here. We've got the large bevel, bevel three, and if we go one more to the right, bevel four. I love this position. I do use different grips for different hits, but for the majority of the time, if this ball's in my strike zone and I wanna drive and spin at the same time, the semi-western grip is the grip of choice. One other thing too with this is you notice how I have a trigger finger here on my forehand. Guys like Nadal, they might go more of a hammer grip where the fingers come together. I like that. Personally, I use more of a trigger finger where I've got a little separation here between my index finger and the middle finger. But I am semi-western grip. I take that racket back and basically what you're gonna do with this drill is just kind of get the feel of laying that racket head back. And then as that hand goes forward and we get this rotation of the hips and shoulder, you can see how we're gonna get a little bit of that lag and the whipping effect. So basically what you're doing is you're just gonna be here. I'm not even gonna hit the ball. I just wanna get the feel of that racket head and kind of leading with this edge of my racket, how it's going to go to the ball. And all I'm doing is getting a feel of that leg, almost like I'm making like a figure eight. I'm just getting the feel of that leg and keeping that ball in the throat of my racket. And notice how I am leading with that edge of the racket. That's where the power is. Semi-open stance, do you notice that? How I'm not in an open stance, I'm not, I'm not square or closed. I really like to get the feel of going like, almost like a figure eight here with the racket head. Right leg is the boss, 90% of my weight in that loading position is gonna be on this leg. 10% is on the left leg. And I'm just getting the feel here with the swivel. Racket, the ball must stay in the throat of the racket. All right, show you a second drill that I really like to do on the Top Spin Pro. We're gonna put that ball in the throat of the racket again, but what I'll do is I'll just do this like three times. One, two, three, and then I'll actually hit it. One more time. One, two, three, four. Great little drill just to kind of get the reps here. And then when I go on that fourth, I'm gonna really accelerate to the ball, lift up and across for that top spin and that ball should fall, should go back and to the right. One other thing to keep in mind here when we're doing this as well, 
is we don't want to break the plane. I've talked about this before, but just kind of imagine that you've got this maybe an invisible wall behind you, a plane, and you really don't want that racket head in the hand to break the plane. So everything stays on this side. So that's another thing to really key in on is keeping the hand and the racket head to this side. All right, drill number three is just basically repping it out now with the Top Spin Pro. So basically what I'm gonna do is just actually just work on going up and across that ball and feeling that lag here. See that? That whip. And that's where really we get the power. All right, I hope that helps you. Uh, do me a favor. 80% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So do me a favor, hit that like button hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We're closing in on 15,000 subscribers, so appreciate your help and support. Continue to make this high quality content. Have a great day.